Hi, welcome all. I decided to start playing Buddy Fight again, so bear with me because my card pull is limited and I don't have a lot of generics to show off, but I got the main deck pretty much done, so here we go. The Buddy is Gar uh, Gargantual Blade Centaur because the deck completely revolves around this card, and I got the Buddy Rare with the deck that I bought. Gargantual so. Blade Insect. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta explain that joke again. Oh fuck, you're right, my bad. So he's got... He doesn't have hooves, even though he's supposed to be a centaur. So if he's got four more arms, basically, because these are just hands, he's basically an insect because he has three, he has six, six arms. Math is hard. Yeah, he has three on each side. Um, and then we got our Yuga flag, because thanks, Eduardo. All right, four copies of the card that is our buddy. Most important card of the deck, because everything revolves around G-Boost Craft. So... Gargantua Blade Centaur. It's a drag god, and call cost is pay two gauge, top card of deck into soul. G Boost Craft, at the beginning of your attack phase, for the turn, all cards on your field get uh, double attack. If you have another DDT, it's triple attack. So you're gonna be attacking with everything with triple attack over and over and over. It's the point of the deck. He has move and soul guard for when you wanna do that. Uh, most of the cards in the deck require having a G Boost card on the field to do anything. So this card's not on your field. Most of your cards are just blank cards. They don't do anything. So you want to make sure that you see this and get all your cards rolling the minute you got it on the field and make sure it doesn't die. Cool. Next up, we got four copies of DA Dragon Strategist, Valheit. So Valheit's ability is you discard, when you enter it, you discard a card, you, you search for G-Boost Craft. Well, first you put the Tucker deck in your gauge, because, you know, the gauge is cool. Then you search for a G-Boost Craft, which is only Blade Centaur, because we didn't get the promo yet as of this video. We don't even know if we'll ever get it, probably. So there's only one G-Boost Craft card that exists, basically. And then you shuffle. And when this stands by a card effect, if you have a G-Boost on your field, you destroy your opponent's, a card in your opponent's field. So if you stand this three times from the triple... If you stand this twice from the triple attack, uh... You can pop something twice, which is cool. But you're on four of it because you want to see Blade Centaur as much as possible. Next up is our draw engine, which is four copies of Gusto Gardra. So this is a uh, call cost, pay a gauge, put the talk your deck into its soul. Uh, when it attacks, you can discard a card and draw one. And then if you have a Jar God, you draw another one. So since you have triple attacks, since it's going to be attacking three times, you're discarding three and you're drawing six. So you're drawing a bunch of cards off this, and then you can kill this with Gar Highland, call it back with Gar Command, do it again, just keep drawing through your deck if you want. So, really good card because you're drawing cards, and drawing cards good in any card game, pretty much. Next up, we have three copies of Gar Cat because it's a free plus. If you have another DDT on your field, item or monster, you call it, get a gauge, draw a card. And it has a decent five attack stat. But it's most it's just free resources. But only run three because um, you don't really need to see it too often, and you're getting a bunch of resources with the other cards in the deck as well. Uh, next up for size ones, we're running two copies of Caliber and Garja because my friend Oscar said it was a really good card, and it seems really good. I still I just haven't had a chance to really test it just because this doesn't do anything against Gabe's evil demonic dragons at all. So I always just sideboard this out every time we play. So what it does is it has a named ability, counter, reboost. Uh, if you've attacked three or more times for the turn and you have a card of G-Boost Craft on the field, you can pay a gauge and call this from the drop zone, and you can only use that once per turn. So because you only use it once per turn, you only need two copies, and it calls itself from the drop, so it's fine. So the other ability is when it stands, it gains a crit. So since you have triple attack, it's gonna gain two crit, and if you use uh, the item to restand again, it gets like, another crit, swings again. So it does a lot of damage, and it's a guaranteed like extension for more attacks for the additional triple attack you get for the turn. So pretty decent card. And because the item is so important for the deck, we're running two copies of Aedra Gardra, even though we're not running Deity Gargantua Dragon. So we're when it enters, you discard a card from your hand, search for Deity Garga or a Deity Dragon Tribe item, so the item, and put it in your hand. So you really need the item in this deck just to keep your Centaur from not being rested or dying, basically. You want to make sure it stays on the board. Uh, and then its other ability is really good with Centaur as well, is when a, a Drygod attacks by itself, 
uh, it attacks all your opponent's monsters and them at the same time. So since you have triple attack, you're hitting them and their center at the same time for 10k and 2 crit. So even if they have something in the center, you can still poke them for damage. Uh, I do run Drygod Shine to search for items, but I like to, because Drygod Shine is only once per turn, you can do this and Drygod Shine to get monsters from drop to hand. So I like having that as well. Plus you can search this, get the other monster you want, like maybe Blade Centaur, and then call this and get the items. So that's another thing you can do. So that's it for the monsters. Uh, the only item we're running is Garlite Rapier. Uh, we really don't have any other item we want to run just because this stands more stuff and it prevents your monsters from being affected by opponent's card abilities. So it's pay gauge in life. If you have a dragon on your field, all DDT monsters cannot be tar destroyed and their abilities cannot be nullified. Then as a counter, uh, if you have a card with Jibu's Craft on the field, you stand all your monsters. So you get an additional attack on top of the triple attacks you already did. So, and, the, and it's also cool because if you have a Jibu's Craft, this also swings three times and it's a 6-2, which is really decent for a weapon stat. So that's it for items. Now we're going on to spells. We're running four copies of G-Boost Over because resources are really good. Uh, you can only cast this if you have a card with G-Boost on your field. So like I said, if you don't have Centaur, these cards don't do anything. Uh, look at top three. Add two to your hand and the rest go to Gage. So you get two to hand, one to Gage for free for the most part if you got Centaur. So it's really nice. So you run four of that. We're going to run four copies of Combat Deity Roar, which is our nullify. So if you have a card with G-Boost on your field, you nullify the attack. Oh, well, you can nullify the attack. Then if you have a card with G-Boost on your field, the card that is attacking cannot stand. Yeah, basically it. Uh, and you can only use it during your opponent's turn. You have to have a DDT on your field, but that's kind of given. So then we're running three copies of Garm E Invitation because a friend of mine said it's pretty good to run at three. And he's probably right, it just doesn't do anything against Gabe's deck. So <laughs> here we go, we'll just, just keep on getting abused by that. Uh, you only cast this if you have used Jeebus Craft during this turn. So it's a counter, which is nice. So if your opponent has stuff like, I don't know, Umbrella, which doesn't nullify effect damage and you pop it, that's the card, right? Yeah. So if you pop it with Valhite, you can then use this during the battle phase counter, draw a card, then have the ability where uh, when a DDT stands, you can deal your opponent one point of damage and you can only cast this card once per turn. So you can use it during, you use it during the battle phase, which is nice because your opponent stuns or stops you from attacking. You can save this and not waste it at the beginning of the main phase or battle phase. So that's cool. So burning your opponent for damage and you're triple attacking with all your cards. And it's just when a DDT stands, not monsters. So you can burn them for a bunch of damage. Next up, three copies of Drag Out Shine. Helps you get your stuff back, searches for the item. So pay life, choose one of the following. You can only use uh, Drag Out Shine once per turn. Either add two DDT monsters from drop to hand or search your deck for a DDT item, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. Uh, running it at three, just because three is enough. Um, you can only use it once per turn, so I don't want them really getting clogged in my hand too much. And I have the, the Adria Gardra that helps search for the item as well. Three copies of Garkamon. Uh, I only have three copies, that helps, but the three copies works fine. Uh, it's counter, you put the top of your deck in your gauge, call it the one size one or less uh, DDT from your drop. So you can use this with, uh, with uh, Gar Highland, which uh, lets you pop a monster, and then you can use this to call the same card back. So you can use this with Gusto Gardra, Valhite. Same, thank you. Um, and just keep continuing on with multi-attacks. It's mostly for Gusto Gardra, so you can call it back and get another triple attack, because a triple attack is for the turn, so if you get a new monster, it gets triple attack again. So calling stuff from drop be good in this deck. Three copies of Loud Voice. Loud Voice is good. Uh, you're drawing a bunch of cards with Gusto Gardra, so you can like discard five and neg your opponent 15, 15, and five crit. It's possible, which is pretty decent. Uh, since you draw enough cards, Stopping your opponent from multi-attacking for the turn during the battle phase is Coolio. And it's generic vanilla Dragon World card that can use in any deck for the most part except Thunder Empire, which it's at one. It's almost as if Thunder Empire isn't a Dragon World deck. Weird, right? Weird. Three copies of Loyalty. Uh, Loyalty is a good card. 
Loyalty stops your opponent from calling things if they've called three monsters for the turn, which is cool. The other two effects are nice, but this, the most important thing is just stopping your opponent from calling more, than, more monsters. Uh, yeah. It's good in the main deck, and if I want to switch it out for Buddy Block, I'll switch it out when I sideboard. Two copies of Gar Oracle, because while we do draw a lot, we want to draw into Centaur as much as possible and look for stuff. So we have two copies of Oracle, pay a gauge, draw two. Then if you have a drag out, you gain two life. So there's that. And then like I said before, Gar Highland. Gar Highland helps because this deck kind of has a gauge issue since Centaur costs two gauge. Good card costs a gauge. The item costs a gauge. And you don't really have much to kind of speed up your the gauge you're getting, and also uh, Evil Demonic Dragon kills your gauge. Um, so this helps when you get just four gauge during the battle phase, which is really nice to help pay more cost to call more things, cast more spells, etc. You only need it at two just because like, the cost is to kill a DDT from your field, and if you don't want to kill anything, it kind of just sits there, especially you know if you don't want to kill what's there. And there aren't any other really good uh, charging spells for the main phase to kind of warrant running anything else. Except for, you know, that's what G-Boost over is for. So we only get to get one gauge out of that. Gar Helen be good. So that was it for the main deck. My sideboard is garbage uh, because my card pool is shit. So bear with me. Two copies of Combat DD Arises. So Combat DD Arises, you activate during the final phase. Pay two gauge, stand all your DDT. So it helps with extensions. So if, you're, if I'm playing against a deck, I can abuse and be aggro against, I'll run this, cast it, and I get one more additional attack on top of the triple attack and the item standing everything. So that's nice. Uh, I have one more copy of Guard E Invitation just because I don't have other cards for sideboarding. I, I just got this deck. Um, I'm just running the fourth copy just because the effect is good. We're restanding and burning your opponent's good. I might run a fourth copy just to see it more often and burn my opponent to death. So that's why I have it there. Two copies of Gar East Stream. I could put in a third copy. It's just this card's just so wonky. It's, it's like you have to have a card with G boost on the field first. Then for the turn, any time your opponent your DDTs can't be rested or returned to hand by your opponent's card effects. Anytime a DDT stands again a life, that's cool and all. But I don't really know what else to really use it with. So I'm just Putting it at two on the sideboard for now. The fourth copy of Loyalty because I might need it, and the play set of Buddy Blocks because my sideboard is garbage. Please give me recommendations for sideboards because I really don't know what I'm doing. That was the deck. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm having fun with Buddy Fight again, and I hope you all enjoyed this deck profile. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.